As a designer today, you're working hard not just to make nice designs, but to help make your business successful. You need to design across multiple mediums and devices. Increasingly, you need to apply your skills to new media like the web, video, and interactive content. Well, with CS5, you're going to be able to express your ideas in exciting new ways and work faster without sacrificing precision or quality. You'll be able to experiment with interactive media without writing any code. And we're going to streamline the tedious but critical processes like client reviews. So now, here are some of the coolest aspects of the CS5 design suites. Hi, I'm Terry White, Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe Systems. I'm here to show you some of the exciting new things in Adobe Creative Suite 5 Design Premium. So the first thing I'd like to do is show you a little bit about Photoshop CS5. So I have this horse and I just need to move him over. So the first thing I need to do is make a selection. Now that I have this selection, I actually need to make that selection better for the mane and the tail on the horse. And so one of the things that we can do is we can grab Fine Edge Command. And this new refined edge has built-in edge detection with smart radius. So as I move this slider left and right, it will pick up more detail in the mane and the tail, but also keep the body intact. So we'll click OK on that, and that will make our selection. The next thing we'll do is we'll just duplicate that onto its own layer. Now that I've got that on its own layer, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that layer off. We'll go back to our background because now we need to get rid of the original horse and fill it in. So let's go to our select menu one more time. Load that selection. We'll grab the second selection, which is a little bit more liberal, and we'll just hit delete. And you've never been able to do this before, but now with the new content aware fill, it will intelligently figure out what would have been there if the horse were never there using the surrounding areas. And now, like magic, the horse is gone, but the background is filled in. We'll hit command D to deselect. We'll grab our horse. We'll switch over to the move tool and we'll simply move the horse over. Amazing. The second thing I want to show you is Adobe Illustrator CS5 and beautiful strokes. I have the brand new variable width tool and as you can see I can just go along anywhere along my path and vary the width of the stroke. I can do it evenly on both sides or one side versus the other. I can even save those as profiles and apply them to other paths as I go forward. The next thing we'll do is we'll pop over to a different view. And in this view, we're going to go ahead and grab our arrow. And I've got this arrow selected. As you can see, the dashes themselves don't necessarily line up with the corners. However, with one tap of a button, I can save time and have them line up with the corners perfectly. And that's just some of the beauty of Illustrator CS5. So the third thing I'd like to talk to you about is the brand new CS Review. CS Review is one of the CS Live services, and it integrates with Creative Suite 5. I can tap the CS Review panel right from within my applications like Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign. Once I bring the panel up, I can actually initiate a review from within those applications and share it online. Once someone makes comments, those comments actually appear right within my documents. So CS Review is just one of the services a part of CS Live. So the fourth thing I'd like to show you is InDesign. I'm actually in my web browser looking at some interactive content that has motion, video, and sound. And what if I were to tell you that all of this Flash content was created inside of InDesign without having to write code? Let's pop over to InDesign and take a look. I'm going to select one of the objects here, go to my new animation panel, and I can choose a preset. These are the same presets from Flash Professional. So I'll bring up my preview panel, and that loads an instance of the Flash player that lets me actually see my animation right within my application and test it without having to leave InDesign. Now we'll pop over to a different spread and on this spread I've actually got embedded flash video. I can select that video, go to the new media panel and I can actually scrub through that video. I can even choose it as a poster frame. And that is how interactivity inside of InDesign CS5 rocks. So the fifth thing I'd like to show you is an exciting cool new way to create interactive content. It's actually our new product called Flash Catalyst. I'm going to launch Flash Catalyst here, and one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is that you can create this interactive content from your native layered Photoshop and Illustrator files without having to write code. That's the beauty of it. So rather than take my word for it, let's actually look at what one of our customers has done with Flash Catalyst. Hi, we're Marketos Moore, a brand design firm in San Francisco. We work on a variety of different projects, ranging from print to packaging to web. We're designers, not coders. 
We focused on three main components for this website, a simple navigation system, a really cool interactive map, and a sexy image gallery. And the great thing is we were able to get our designs from Illustrator into Flash Catalyst with very little difficulty. Flash Catalyst is really going to allow us the ability to pass along some cost-effective solutions to our clients without having to hire developers. And it was a fun project. It was great. Sadly, I'm out of time. However, I'd love to show you the great new painting features inside of Photoshop and Illustrator, as well as the new productivity features inside of InDesign. You can head over to adobe.com and check out all of the great new CS5 features for designers. Thanks for watching.